All right, what is up guys? Jerry Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Dado's behind the camera and we're back for another episode of the Carbon V4 series. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a series where we take this beautiful, slightly apart uh, <laughs> Ducati Panigale V4S, we customize it with the support of our patrons, and then we give it away once we're done. If you guys want to be entered to win this uh, bike and help support and make these series possible, head on over to patreon.com slash Customs. Today, we finally get to one of the surprises for you guys. It's in that big ass box over there. Christina's gonna unbox it for us. It's freaking gonna be awesome. I'm so excited. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this one. All right, so you know what? We decided we like Christina in a bikini. It's more fun for us, and we like to piss you guys off anyway. So it's also hot as shit outside, and I would be in a bikini too if I could. Unfortunately, I just don't look quite as good. She also has like literally a million freaking bikinis, so um, it's a good way for her to get to wear them and show them off, right? What's this one from? I have no idea. You have no idea. I'm gonna tell you if I wanted to. Way to go. So, what we have today, guys, is, so if you don't know, we're gonna be doing this whole bike in full carbon, and we already put the full titanium Acra system on it. Next, we're gonna be starting with a piece only one of these exists in the entire U.S., guys, and I think only a handful in the entire world have been installed on V4s. What could it be? It is a full carbon rear subframe. Look at that, guys. It saves 10 pounds off the bike, costs three grand, and it's, only, it's the only one in the entire U.S., and probably there's like three in the whole world. Look at that. Look at how badass that thing is. So we have to swap all of the stock parts over to this one. Then we can put it on and reroute all of the wires. But that's it guys, that's one of the surprises. We didn't do a full carbon rear subframe for the 1299, so we wanted to step it up a notch for this one and do it for the, uh, for the V4. But there you go guys, so with two parts now, with the exhaust and the rear subframe, we've already saved over 23 pounds off the bike. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the lightest and fastest uh, V4 in the entire world when we're done. That's the lengths we're going to, guys, on this build. And again, you can win this bike when we're done. Oh, you can check out how that all works on Patreon. It'll always be in the first link in the description below. Teens is grabbing the stock parts, the stock piece, and we're going to have to start swapping stuff over, so that's what we're going to start with now. Freaking sick, right? Again, if you guys want to pick up one of these for yourselves, we got this through Manny at Moto Million, and Full Six is the company that makes it. They're the uh, U.S. supplier of all Full Six carbon parts. In my opinion, the best carbon in the world is made by Full Six, so we highly, highly recommend them. You can see how absolutely stunning this carbon is. Look at that carbon. It's just unbelievably made. This is a full piece. Oh, it's so freaking badass. So yeah, let's get started. So we're just looking things over right now with uh, what we're gonna have to swap over. It looks like obviously the big ass uh, brake light, tail light. Um, we're gonna have to swap over the NRC tail tidy, which we will have to do some uh, drilling into the carbon for. Um, we will not be swapping over the uh, rear seat opening because uh, this one's completely molded. There is no rear seat and trust me, there was no storage in that other one anyway. Um, and then this actually is for the stock exhaust and we will be swapping over tiny little ones for the car, uh, Acra system. And then this, this piece also will get swapped over. Unfortunately, I don't even think they make this in carbon yet. So we'll just be keeping the same plastic one, which is fine because it has this nice um, foam on there and everything like that. But do you think of anything else, Dada, we need to swap over or that? Yeah, the uh, vodka bottle has to be swapped into the glass. Into the glass, perfect. Yeah, we'll do that right now. Let's get some drinks rolling because this is going to be intense. All right, tail tidy is going to come off first. We think so. Again, there's no instructions for this kind of stuff, guys. So we're just uh, going to do the best. You Dotto know? thinks so. Yeah, it's just going to be Dotto instructions. Oh, there you go. Nice. Some plugs. We don't need those, we're just gonna cut them and never replace them again. Perfect. My hands hurt so bad I don't even feel my fingers. <laughs> good, that's good. That's when you know you've been wrenching for a long time. Yeah, time. Time to go for a ride. Obviously we're gonna need this entire harness now because we're gonna be swapping this harness over to the uh, carbon one. Oh my God, guys. Again, we went with the matte carbon and um, in my opinion, I love the stealthy look, but um, we're gonna be doing red accent pieces on everything. So we're doing red decals, I already got them ordered. 
We're doing glossy red wheels. We're doing, you know, we've got the red in the, that's why we've got the red in the uh, clear clutch there. And I think it's just gonna look absolutely insane with the whole thing in matte carbon with red accent pieces. It's gonna be just really, really special when we're done. I'm so excited, guys. And it's really gonna start ramping up now, too. We have another surprise for you guys coming uh, in the next episode if we get there. And then we'll be able to start up the exhaust, hear what that puppy sounds like. Mmm! It's gonna be bad. Mmm, mm mmm, mmm. All right, so just like that, the tail tidy is off. So we'll be reusing that, obviously. <laughs> Again, we got that for, through Moto Million as well. Pretty much all of our parts we got through Moto Million. Thanks, if Manny. Yeah, if you're interested in getting anything. We could not have done this bill without Manny, so definitely show them some love. You can use code CAMPEASY on anything you order from them. It helps us out, and obviously it helps you guys out because you save some money as well. It's people helping people. What's next, Otto? We are going to pull these plastic pieces off, and the only reason I'm doing that is because we have bolts that we need to get to that I can't get to otherwise. Cool. Guys, check out, check this out what Dotto just noticed. Obviously, we never took this apart. Look at how loose this is from factory. <laughs> it's no big deal, you're just riding on it. Ducati performance. What the heck, guys? Holy shit. All right, so after taking apart a lot of screws, there it is. The rear tail light. Hell yeah, look at that. Would you look at that? That's pretty cool, dude. Isn't it? Yeah, that is pretty sweet. It'd probably double up as a hat. Anything. It actually, does it. look pretty good as a. <laughs> Another piece came off and quickly turned into Dado's beard. Make sure you subscribe and give a thumbs up for Dado's nice beard. He grew that just for you guys. <laughs> he looked canned off. And then the last piece we'll need from the stock rear subframe is this guy right here. What happened? Look who comes in. Where were you? I was gone two seconds. Where were you? Problems um, it's been 45 minutes you've been gone, at least. And we needed you I to had, find I something. I had paperwork to sign for and the you, manager. Oh yeah, did you? I did. Oh, okay. And bobs are paying. Where's so the manager? I need to be there. Are we getting fired? You're both. Thank fired. God, I'm over the shit. I'll get fired for that. We just stripped these stupid bolts. You did? Yep. For which one? They're this, size. this stupid thing, trying to get this engine case cover. And now we have to drill oh, them out. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about just leaving it off. It's been like half an hour trying to get this stupid cover off. All right, so after 45 minutes, we got this stupid engine cover off. And we got some decapitated bolts. Luckily, Dotto has millions of bolts, so we're going to have to reuse or find some new ones. And then I think that metal piece that goes across the center of that, not that, the other side. That metal piece that goes across that braces it, I think we have to take that off too. I think you're wrong. Let's find out. Teens finally came down. I, I handed her a job to do, and she's already saying we no. She, does, she doesn't want to do it. Sausage fingers for the no, we need big, big old honking tatas to do it. Tatas, really? Tatas. Don't put a hole in a teens. Yeah, don't, don't break it. I need that. If you break the rubber, you know what happens. Don't break the rubber, babe. Leave a thumbs up if you like those bottoms, those bikini bottoms. Hey, what? Uh, comment below if you think Keens is gonna puncture the rubber and make little groans. <laughs> no, no one can see it. Because guess what, bitches? I think that screwdriver is way too big. Did you get it? Oh, uh, she got it. Funny thing is, this look. is not the one I need. Yeah, it is. <laughs> It has to be. It is. It has to be. It has to be. Next step is sliding in that beautiful rear tail light. And it sounds like something's rattling around in there, bud. Oh, so yeah. It's Teens' butthole. Teens' butthole. <laughs> uh, it doesn't have to make sense. That's what's rattling. When you're jacked, nothing needs to make sense. <laughs> Uh, first thing we're going to do is swap the NRC kit over. In order to do that, Dad was going to have to drill some holes. Uh, two holes for the actual fitting the unit, and then another hole in the center for uh, fitting the wires down through. All right, here we go. Drilling carbon. $3,000 piece of carbon. One hole. Two holes. Now they're a little, I drilled them a little small. I'm going to double check that these fit. Need to go one size bigger. Yep. 
So on the stock uh, subframe, there are actually things for these uh, screws to screw into. On this one, there are not. So we're actually gonna have to find some nuts. Let's see what Dido's got into his nut drawer. One of my nut drawers. Good God. Actually, I have these aluminum ones. Let's see if, Look at let's see if the aluminum ones fit. You have aluminum? I'd I like, like it. I'd Weight like, savings. Yes. Ooh, let's, these are cool. Let's see if any of these fit. Well, first option didn't work. Now we're uh, on to option number two. Ooh, did that work? Got one. Got one. Nice. Perfect. Find one more. God, I can't believe you just found one that quickly. Mm -hmm. Look at this pile of freaking... This is my extra motorcycle sport bike section. I don't know how many bikes he's taking apart. Well, I need to, uh, I need to organize. Good God. So if anybody wants to visit and hang out and organize shit, comment below. <laughs> All right, so we found the uh, washers. Next, we got to drill a hole for the um, all the um, wires to fit through, which is going to take pretty much the biggest one. There it is. Saving weight too. Look at that. First try, she fits. Man, get her all in there. You'd think I went to Ducati school or something. <laughs> So we got all the wires up in there. Now Dotto's trying to see if he can fit the nuts and see if they're long enough. They work? You get it I, on? My nuts are long enough. Yes, look how sick that looks with the black on black. Oh, I love it. All right, up next is fitting the uh, rear tail light in there. God, it looks so good. So freaking sick. Hold on, let me get, there we go. Yeah, that looks badass, dude, good job. So after fitting the tail light in, we realized we have a problem. Way down in there, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, there's a screw that has to go and fit the tail light in. There's only one screw. And somehow we have to get all the way in there and get that screw in. I don't know how you're gonna do that, Dotto. <laughs> Where's Teens? Look at this guy, he looks like he's noodling. You know what noodling is? When people put their hands down in creeks underneath in holes yeah. and they use their fingers like this and then they get catfish to bite them, they pull catfish out. That's what you look like you're doing right now. Noodling. So he got it in. Now we're gonna have to figure out how to tighten it down. A little screwdriver set. Just Teens just runs in there and runs in here and says, it's pouring outside, it's raining. I'm trying to get inside. And then it stops. And there's nothing. Let's come down again. Here it comes, it's coming, see? It's what, not. where? I see no rain. It's coming. Meanwhile, Dotto, look at Dotto over here, finger blasting, arm blasting the entire rear uh, tail section. Have you guys accomplished anything? <laughs> doesn't seem like it, no, teens. It doesn't. it doesn't seem like it, now does it? That looks like a cool, like, arm. From like Infinity gun. Wars. <laughs> looks like Captain America's new weapon. Oh, it does, yeah. yeah. All right guys, so we took everything back apart because this screw here, the OEM screw that held the taillight in, um, keeps spinning on itself in here because there's not enough room for it to go in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find an aftermarket screw that fits a lot better. And if you take a notice, these two grommets hold the taillight in place. There's one freaking tiny little screw that holds the entire taillight assembly in. And I told Jared, I don't want the new owner to hit the throttle and the taillight flies out. Yeah. So we're gonna find another screw that fits a lot, a lot better. I literally had to use this tiny little tool to, to get my hand inside of the rear end so I can just screw this in it's insane. all the way in here. So back to the drawing board. The one on the left was the stock one and the one on the right is the one we're going to use. He just threaded it in there. It works way better. It's going to be way tighter and it'll grab a lot better and make sure that the tail light doesn't fly out when we're riding it down the street or the new owner is riding it down the street. After many minutes of battling, we got it in there, now it's not moving at all. Dotto sacrificed his freaking knuckles for us, look at that. All cut up and bruised. I made a knuckle sandwich. Oh! Next step is to tighten down the uh, NRC tail tidy. And then once that's tightened down, we can attach all of the harness plugs in there. And then we can put on the final piece, which is this guy here, the engine cover. And then we can finally start to attach it to the bike. Then we gotta reroute a lot of wires. <laughs> Dotto's neighbor made him some cornhole tables. Check that out. 
with a handle, fold out little uh, legs. legs and everything. Look at that. So if we can get this thing done, maybe we can play some cornhole. Hey, you guys, and drink some beers. How I should paint this? Oh and yeah. What design should go on. We were saying, or Teen said he should do one Ducati and one Yamaha, so it's like Yamaha versus Ducati. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Apparently, he doesn't like it. Teen's is eating freeze pops. Otter pops. Otter pops. Hey, Teen, can I get some of those? We finally busted out some beers because we've had it. We need to start drinking. I'm gonna send Teen's to get me some ice because I gotta start making some mixed drinks. We're out of beer. Oh, what? That's what everyone wants to see and you just covered it up. How dare you? Thanks, babe, you're the best. So we're just getting the uh, engine case cover fitted on there. We got and new screws. Yeah, with the new screws that Dado found, thank the Lord, he has a million freaking screws. And it's coming together, finally. We're gonna be able to put this on the bike and then route a million freaking wires. <laughs> and then hope that it starts. Actually, it can't start because it doesn't have a tank. Look who it is. It's the freaking manager. Bud, we needed you out here. Where the hell have you been? We didn't let you out the team. Where have you been, Dozy? Look at him. Look at that face. Look at that stinking face. You're the best manager in the whole world, Dozy. Everybody loves you, Dozer. Look at him. <laughs> Big ass balls. Nia's out here too. Look, we got the whole crew out here. All right, so we're finally back to the acro directions and we can start to finish the rear subframe up, which is nice to have directions again. So first thing we're doing is fitting this acro piece onto the new carbon uh, subframe and we'll move on from there. All right, teens, we got a job for you. See these grommets here? I do, I see them. I'm gonna need you to I'm fit those. I'm assuming that I have to put them in these three holes. <laughs> you gotta fit those grommets in those three holes right there. Thin grommets, man. All right, can you do Just that for us? Just when I thought I could get away from them, I can't. The grommets love you, teens. They just love you. Are you getting them in? Come on, come on. Oh. You got one? I know how to work them. Wow, good. Now you got two more. So the next thing they're telling us to do is to fit this metal piece on top of the acro pipes. This piece here. Unfortunately, we had already put that carbon piece on there. So that can't be there. It's okay, so I Teens got it. is gonna actually do some work for once. I and she's pulling that carbon piece back off, which will be like literally the 15th time we've taken that thing on and off. We've gotten to that point guys where Jerry Bear needs a drink because one Heineken just wasn't quite enough. Teens should probably be making this for me, but you know how she is. <laughs> What's that mean? How would that be? Well, she would probably put this whole bottle in the in the in the cup. I just want a little splash of vodka, you know. Nothing too serious. There we go. That's how much I have put Just in. take the edge off. You poured half this bottle into Dotto's the other day. That's our There's mechanic. a tactic behind that. Why was a man? Why would you do that? Oh. I was swapping some rubber grommets into the rear subframe, and then we'll finally be able to put it on the damn bike after. 45 days. Look at that. Mm. What'd you put in there? I don't know. I don't know why it's pink. It's probably kiwi strawberry. Oh, oh kiwi is. strawberry. Okay. So to all those drinking and watching, cheers to you, my friends. While the men work and bust their asses, this is what goes on over here. Look at them. Yep. How's my hair look? How's my outfit? Does it match? So, Does everything match? Matches. Oh my god, a couple of idiots. Nia, why aren't you in a bikini? No one wants to see my chub. Matt, YouTube's been asking. They said they'd like those thick girls. I've got the saggy That's what they boots. said. That's what they said. I've got the saggy and, boobs. And Christina, no Christina has saggy boobs. Thick. Busty. Right? Busty is better. No is Busty better? Is Busty better? Be <laughs> <laughs> Jacked. Muscular? Muscular. Muscular. Okay, muscular. <laughs> the grommets have officially been swapped. And it feels good. What are you what are you doing over there? Yawning, looking over at me like, what are you doing, Jay? Why are you yelling so loud? We're trying to have a conversation. Why are you yelling oh so loud? So the moment we've all been waiting for, fitting the rear subframe, carbon rear subframe. Onto the freaking motorcycle. Don't worry, this is gonna be carbon too. And we have a carbon swing arm cover coming, which might already be here actually. All right, let's see what happens. I'm 
that freaking thing and you can't twist it. That's right. Put these in. Wow. F and A cotton. Pull this uh, rear subframe up. Yeah. Next step is tightening down that heat shield basically to the uh, carbon frame. So that's what we're doing right now. Adding the three bolts that go in there. And guys, take a look at how badass this bike looks. Look at that. It changes the whole lines of the bike. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? No, look at that. It's badass. I'm not even joking. That's it's incredible. Holy hell, full six, motor million, you guys freaking crushed it. Look at that. Oh my good God. Imagine guys, the whole bike is gonna be in carbon like that when we're done. It's gonna be one of a kind. It's gonna be the best V4 in the entire world. And we're gonna be giving it away because that's what we do. All right, so the last part for today is putting back on the carbon fiber uh, heat shield. And as far as the wiring and all that stuff goes, we are just completely shot at this point. So we will do that in the next episode. Almost done, what do you think, teens? You didn't do shit today. I did. You're not getting paid. I worked with those grommets. You are not getting paid I today. I worked with the manager. Oh, is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Hey, what do you think about the tail section, teens? And carbon, <laughs> that's gone. <laughs> that is definitely gone. Son of a bitch. I found it. <laughs> They're not addicted quite. Oh, again? I had fucking hiccups. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of installing the full carbon rear subframe on the Panigale V4S. Okay, okay, it's having issues. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is the full carbon rear subframe attached to the V4S. Um, the only one that exists in the entire country and probably only a handful in the whole world. Again, sa saved over 10 pounds, <laughs> cost about $3,000. Uh, shout out to Manny from Motor Million and Full Six who provided us with this bad boy. And I'm really, really excited. Thank you, Dotto, for your hard work. You crushed it as always. We have to definitely do some fabricating as this is a race tail section. Um, but it looks amazing. I'm really, really happy with how it looks. This matte carbon is going to be covered, the whole bike's going to be covered in matte carbon. Again, with the red accents with the wheels and the decal and everything else. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you want to be entered to win this bad boy. And see you in the next one.